I'm Sigrid. She's Sigrid. I'm Clarissa. She's Clarissa. And, and we, we are, are your, your hosts. Host. Our topic is about communications and networks. Okay, this is a question. What is communication? Hmm, a kind of interaction. How about computer communication? Uh, internet, chat, texting, video calls like Skype, uh, whatsoever. Communications. Computer communication describes a process in which two or more computers or devices transfer data, instructions, and information. For successful communications, you need the following. A sending device, communications device, communications channel, communications device, and a receiving device. Some examples are this. Mainframe computers, servers, desktop computers, notebook computers, tablet PCs, smartphones, PDAs, and GPS receivers. I've got another question. What? What is wireless messaging services? <laughs> Users can send and receive wireless messages from smartphones, cellular telephones, or PDAs using three techniques. What are these three techniques? Text messaging, wireless instant messaging, and picture messaging. Hey, okay, it's my turn to ask. Okay. What is wireless internet access point? Huh? Let me give you a clue. Uh, one example of this is cyber cafes. Ooh, a cafe. Wait, wait, wait. I have a joke. Hmm, are you a coffee? Huh? Because I can sleep when I'm thinking about you. <laughs> Enough with the jokes. Har, har. Oh, well, by the way. Wireless Internet Access Point allows wireless connection to internet in public locations. One example of this is a cyber cafe. It is a coffee house that provides computers with internet access. Communication does not just happen. Hmm, effective strategy? Of course! Hmm, goals? Goals. Objectives? Objectives. Things you must do. Things you must do. And crap. Crap. Crap? <laughs> My teacher once asked us if we do have Wi-Fi or modem at home. Do we all need that? Of course, it's for you to be able to communicate with others. You've got to have those. Oh, sassy. Can you give me the benefits of communication? For example, letters are more formal than emails and emails are formal than conversations. Got it? Hmm. What do you think are the functions of communication? Functions? Hmm, it's for information, education, persuasion, motivation, instruction, and raising moral. Oh, I see. Now I'm satisfied. Oh well, I think that's enough information about communication. We're actually communicating. Uh-huh. Once again, I'm Sigrid. She's Sigrid. I'm Clarissa. She's Clarissa. And we, we are, are from Alma 121. Have a good day, everyone!